Hello and welcome to today's video where I will be giving you my May wrap up for the month. For this month's total, I only read three and a half books, which I thought I read more, but oh well. To kick off my May wrap up, I read the book Champion by Marie Lu. I gave this, I think, four out of five stars on Goodreads. It was a nice conclusion. The ending. This is the month where I wanted more and an ending because I felt like this was cut short. This was a repeat of Mockingjay and I was just like, Nope, ain't having it. And I got really sad. I mean, I really, really liked the series. I really liked this last book, but I want more. And I hate how it ended. It was so Mockingjay-ish. And I'm like, no, you can't, no. Mmm, like, day, June, especially June. It really upset me, but I gave this four out of five stars. And I gave the, I overall rated this entire series Four out of five stars. I really recommend this series because the books are action-packed, full of adventure, and it is just such a quick read, and in my mind it was playing like an action movie. It was just so neat to see her words come onto life into my brain from the pages and just form into like an action-like movie, but I really, really recommend this series. So the next book that I read for the month of May was the Booksplosion Month, Book of the Month. What? What? Ooh, what? Anyhow, it is Rainbow Rowell's Attachments. I rated this 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was cute, funny, but the end. I just wanted more. Like, what? Like, is that too much to ask for in books? But I really loved this. I loved Lincoln. I loved Beth. I loved Jennifer. I liked the whole internet aspect and then just Lincoln in general. I thought it would be more about the relationship, the attachment. But it's more about Lincoln's becoming story, and that's totally fine, whatever. But I still thought it was a good read, a very good read by her. I still say out of the two out of the three books I've read by her, I really enjoy Fangirl so much more than this. But this was still a really pretty awesome read. I highly recommend it. The next book that I read this month, The One by Kira Gaff. Ugh. Hmm. I have little words to say about this. I really didn't like this series at all. I should have not have bought this because the one day I went into the library, they had just got this in, and I know I shouldn't have bought it, but it is what it is. This conclusion to the series was really not cool or okay. I mean, that's cool, whatever. I really just wanted to beat the living crud out of America, out of Aspen, out of Maxed. There was no... Ah! One of the main issues that I had with this book was I thought it was going to be really sweet and be like one of those reality TV shows like where the girls get into fist fights, you know, tearing up the dresses because you know what, Maxon is my man and if I were to be on like a reality show I'd be like, oh please, you are not laying a hands on him, I will rip your dress, I will sabotage. There was like no sabotage in this book and it was so frustrating. I was just so mad and the whole dystopian setting was not okay. I don't understand what the hell the rebels were fighting for and the rebels this. What? I don't understand. I don't know, but I do not recommend this series at all. I don't think I'm going to pick up any of Cass's work in the near future. I'm sorry, Kira Cass. I just... no. No. I ended up giving this book three stars out of five, though, because I thought it was really generous of me and this one was like the only one that I could stand and that I actually enjoyed. So it got three stars. You're welcome. And too generous. And the next book that I read in the month of May, I read half of it and then I got the other half finished yesterday, but it is Shatter Me by Tahera Mafi and oh, I was going into this book really, really freaking excited because Witty Novels has been non-stop talking about it and I've been wanting to read this for a long, long time. And so all the hype got to me, I think, and I just didn't find it that all enjoyable. I mean, I found it enjoyable enough and I was panicked for some of the characters at some times and I was just like, Warner, you're the, what? You're a creep. Like, no, no, no creepiness, no. I don't know what I was trying to do if I was trying to be a uh, vampire or whatnot, but uh, ooh. I picked up the other book a few days ago and I picked up the novellas. I don't know if I will get back into the series. I don't know. I read it 4 out of 5 stars. I think I will continue on with the series because I got the novellas and the next book in the series. 
I just don't know when I'll pick it up because I don't think I'm in a dystopian mood anymore. I want to read something contemporary, something happy, something that doesn't drive me utterly, completely insane. And I think that's why I enjoyed Attachments this month so much over this. I don't know when I'll get back into the series, but I did find it really enjoyable for the most part, and it wasn't bad at all, so I still rated it 4 out of 5 stars. It's a really good book, and you should check it out because it was nothing like I thought it would be, and the beginning totally reminded me of the beginning of Clockwork Angel, and so that's why I kind of really like the beginning. Anyways, we will get into my June TBR. These are just a few books, two books that I plan on reading. There is going to be some big news coming to this channel with a partner or a few, and it will be coming later, early next month, but I will be posting a video uh, June 18th or 14th, somewhere around there, somewhere in the middle of the month, but that's all I can tell you right now. I am going to be showing you my two books that I at least want to complete in June because I don't know what I want to read. I really want to read some more contemporary, but I just want to get these books the heck out of the way. The first book of June that I really want to read and finally get through, The Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith. I started this back in, I think, February? If I'm not mistaken, I only got to chapter two, which is like page 45, so I only got through this much. It's sad, I know, but I... I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really funny when I was reading it. It's a lot of geekiness. If you're a geek and you pick up on this stuff, then that is totally sweet. This book is totally for you. If you don't really know about video games and what's not and all things geekiness, then I don't think this will be a book about you or a book for you. And I just haven't had the time to really read in it. I don't think if I like at least read some of it now, I don't think I'll ever read it ever again, but what I've read is quite enjoyable, but hopefully I can get through this itty bitty tiny book at least sometime this month or this summer. The next book and the final book, ooh, shiny cover I think, is Failure is Not an Option and it is Independent Study by Joelle Charbonneau. Her third book, Graduation Day, is coming out later this month, I think June 17th, I think is when her launch is. And anywho, I want to at least get through the second book. I don't know how I feel about this series. I don't know if I'll pick up the third book. It all depends upon on this book. And there is a long book trailer movie thingy. Blue, blue. I will link that below. I met Joelle in the fall at a book festival and I decided to pick this one up just to give it just another try because I didn't know how I'd feel about in the Nope, not independent study, the testing. I don't know if I'll really like this series to read the third book. All I know is I'll just read through this one and hopefully get through it and make it alive because dystopian is just killing me right now. I'm just, mm, I'm such in the contemporary mood in dystopia, dystopia, dystopians. I want to give this a shot to the book that I at least want to accomplish this month. But anyways, that is my short little wrap up TBR. Anywho, you should get on with your day now. Just kidding, you'll probably go watch more booktube videos, but anyways, I will see you until next time. Goodbye!